Hey everybody, it's Hope with Zaza Gnome Designs. I'm here with you today to show you how to make dot mandalas in Procreate. The brushes I use in this tutorial are available in the Zaza Gnome Designs Etsy shop. Link is provided in the description. There's also a separate tutorial on our channel if you need help importing the brushes into Procreate. The reason I created these brushes is because I really enjoy creating dot mandalas with real paint and I wanted my dot mandalas in Procreate to look more natural than a solid circle. If you don't have our brushes, that's okay. You can still make dot mandalas with free circle brushes available at the Procreate website or you can make your own. Today I'll be showing you how I made this dot mandala inspired by one of Elsbeth McLean's painted rocks. For this mandala, I created a high resolution 4000 by 4000 pixel canvas. You want to change the background color to black. You do that by clicking on the layers panel and then double tapping on the black at the bottom. Then you want to select your brushes and choose the drawing guide. Once you select that, you can place that anywhere in the center. And then you're going to select it by choosing the arrow on the left and then choose fit to screen to make your drawing guide fill up the entire canvas. Then you're going to go back to the layers panel and then choose the N and change your opacity to something that is comfortable for you to change the, the look and feel of the, the drawing guide that you'll be using. Now you're going to select layers panel and add a new layer by clicking on the or tapping on the plus sign. And then you're going to want to change the color to white. So you'll be clicking on or tapping on the color wheel on the right hand side of your screen. And then if you double tap in the top left corner of that circle, it'll bring up white. And now you're going to go to your brushes and select one of the dot stamps. You can adjust the size on the right hand side of your screen in the slider. And then you're going to tap somewhere in the middle. If you need to adjust it, just click the arrow on the left hand, top left hand side of the screen. And you can zoom in or you can um, tap to the left and right of the box that's selected. And this just shows you a little bit closer how that looks. And try to line that, that first circle up in the middle of your drawing guide. Again, you can tap around that box to adjust it just ever so slightly. Now you want to add the drawing guides that are included with Procreate to create some symmetry in your project. To do that, you're going to click on the wrench and then slide the drawing guide over to the right and then you're going to go into the drawing guide panel and you want to select symmetry and options and select radial and you want to slide the rotational symmetry button over. You can also adjust the color of your drawing guides at the top where the rainbow slider is and then when you're finished simply tap done. As you can see it will put guides similar to the um, the guide that was included with the brush pack, but the brush pack has a little bit more lines to use. So now you want to use a brush. Your brush should already be selected, um, but you want to tap on the brush, adjust, and you're ready to get started. And then you're just going to start tapping around the circle that you've already made. And everywhere you see those lines, it's going to repeat those dots on the other side. So if you tap in the center of a line, it'll put the dots all the way around. Now you can adjust the size on the right again to put another dot. If you, want, if you don't like that dot, simply either double tap with two fingers on the screen or tap on the undo button if you don't like how a dot looks.
To change the color of your dots, you're going to want to tap on the color selector in the top right of the screen. This brings up either your color disc or you can use um, palettes that you already have, palettes that are included with Procreate to select your colors. You select the circle on the outside to change it to blue, green, yellow, whatever, and then inside the circle to change it to whatever hue that you want for that color. For this one, I chose a pink, kind of a magenta. I wanted to create a palette specifically for this project, so um, what I did was I selected plus, and then now I'm renaming the palette. So when you go over to the disc, it'll show up as a new palette and with your color there. And so now we're ready to continue on and um, select colors for your palette as needed by just tapping on the color box. This one I'm selecting based on values. And what that does is it allows me to select lighter and darker color values of the color that I chose. Now obviously this dot is not what I wanted, so I'm adjusting the size. The trickiest part with the Apple Pencil and doing the dots is that the Apple Pencil doesn't change in size like if you were do actually doing a dot painting. So it's a little bit of trial and error to get your dots positioned just the way you like them and your Apple Pencil stylus to tap exactly where you need them to be. It takes a little bit of practice, a little bit of undos here and there, um, but it's actually it's not very hard. Now here I am changing and just based on the source image that I used to try to recreate um, a digital version of this particular dot mandala. So I'm trying to find a nice bright green that will uh, complement the pink in this particular design. Adjusting the size and then tapping. In order to zoom out in Procreate, you simply need to use two fingers and squeeze them together. And now we're going back to the pink, adjusting the dot size again, and then, and then keep placing your dots until they look the way that you want them to look. You probably notice that you can actually see the drawing guide through the uh, somewhat transparent brushes. Once we're done with this project, you won't see them once you turn that layer off. Um, and with the black background, it gives it that three-dimensional look. Now if you turn the layer one off with your drawing guide and go over to the wrench and turn off your drawing guides for Procreate, you can see what your dot mandala is starting to look like. Um, starting to really take, take shape here and uh, I, th I think it looks pretty cool. Now I'm going to turn those guides back on uh, and continue on with my dot mandala. So I'm going back over to the wrench. Just turn the drawing guide back on and then layer one, checking that box so the drawing guide shows up.
Now I'm going to draw dots all the way around that circle by choosing the dot brush and then adjusting the size. And I'm going to draw with the Apple Pencil all the way around that big purple circle. This one I can already tell isn't going to be quite right. Now when you're done with drawing, you want to press and hold at the end so that you have the option to adjust and then you just select ellipse and then you'll get those uh, I guess dot handles those little blue, blue dot handles that you see there and if you don't like it you can always undo it try again I find that if you draw around the outside of the dots that you're trying to draw a circle around and then adjust the shape outwards um, tends to work out a little bit better and then if you if you don't quite go all the way around and you leave a little bit of space between the first and the last dot you can add a dot after you're done creating it to give it more of a balanced look and you can do that either by just tapping with the dot brush that you're using or you can go in and select one of the dot stamps and adjust the size so that you can put a dot in between those two make it look a little better this will take some trial and error with your brush because this is dependent on how you draw with procreate um, and getting used to those brushes takes a little bit of time um, as well as with the walking dots um, these brushes are are going to follow your stylus um, and there's some ways to edit your shapes that you make, whether it's an arc or a circle or a line or whatever it may be. Um, if you just keep your stylus on there and then select what it is at the top there. And once you're done editing how that looks, you want to tap away from it on the screen to make those, those four um, handles disappear. Once you're finished or happy with your mandala, you can turn your layer one, your drawing guide off, and then also turn the 
drawing guide off for Procreate so that you can see your finished work and how cool it looks. You can also export it also by tapping on the wrench up there and you can export it in uh, multiple file formats if you like by tapping on share. Um, this will export it into the, the different formats that you see and then um, you can share them with whoever you like. After exporting this, I decided that I didn't like one of the areas of the design, so I went in and I erased it and replaced it. Um, I usually use the hard airbrush eraser because it gives it a nice clean uh, erase. So I'm going to go in here and erase that blue dot and the walking dots around it and replace it with something that I think looks a little better. And now I'm going to go into the brush here and select the walking brush. The walking brush um, operates a little bit differently than in real world painting. Um, what it does is it uh, basically creates dots that increase in size as you increase your pressure. So what you want to do is you want to start at the area where you want the smallest dot to be and then draw to the area where you want your largest dot to be. Um, typically this is um, for the walking dots. Um, what you want to do is also adjust your arc shape. Um, if you follow along and uh, along the, the dot that you are trying to do walking dots around, if you follow it as closely as you can along the side and then adjust that arc out, um, it, it spaces it out a little better um, and it gives you a really good look to the walking dot. Also, you may want to play with the pressure and the size because the pressure of the, the stylus on your iPad is going to kind of dictate how big those dots become. And it's important to get as much symmetry as you can when you're doing the walking dots around a circle. And that's it. That's where I ended this particular design. Thank you for watching. Namaste.